We start this noon with breaking news and the search for this teenager you see right here. Right now, a shelter in place order is in effect in Lakeside, specifically the area around the 5500 block of West 44th. The teenager is accused of stabbing a guard at a dentist's office nearby that area. Nine News reporter Courtney Yoon is live right now. Courtney, what have you learned? Erica Jordan, this all happened around 845 this morning in the dentist's office behind me just off West 44th Avenue in Lakeside. There's a ton of police presence here from multiple jurisdictions around the area. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office said that the inmate 17 year old Juan Osigueda was getting some dental work done when he stabbed a correctional officer with a knife. That's when he took off across West 44th Avenue. There's no word on the condition of the guard, but the sheriff's office says he was walking and talking before he was taken away by ambulance to be treated at Lutheran Hospital. Police had a drone up and were also tracking the inmate with a canine. They're also doing yard to yard searches in the neighborhood area of Chase and Gray. Police are making a huge perimeter, hoping to saturate the area with investigators so they can find this inmate. Our juvenile system is, needs to be taken as seriously as, as anyone in our adult system. That's why he was shackled. That's why he was handcuffed. I would assume the handcuffs came off for the procedure, um, and they just didn't get the handcuffs on in time before this thing went south. Here's a picture of the escaped inmate, 17-year-old Juan Osigueda. He's described as 5'6 to 5'9 feet tall, 118 to 130 pounds, black hair, brown eyes, and wears braces. He was in the youth detention center for a robbery and a variety of other charges. He was last seen wearing tan pants and a white or green shirt. His feet were shackled, but it's unknown if those restraints are still on. This inmate is considered armed and dangerous, so police are asking people in the area to lock their doors and to call 911 if you see this inmate. And as I said before, there's still a huge police presence out here. I'm told about 100 cops are searching the area for this inmate. Jordan. All right, Courtney, you reporting out there live for us this noon. Courtney, thank you so much. We'll check back in with you with any updates.